Now, I'm going to do my absolute best to make this extremely brief, but it is something that has stood out to me for a very long time, but today was the icing on the cake. And that thing that I am now going to go ahead and vocalize and put on record is the fact that when it comes to black women, we are the ones right it is us we hate natural hair yeah i said it we are the texturists Mm -hmm. a few weeks back i went to an establishment and i'm not gonna say where i was i don't want to put anybody on blast or anything of that sort but i went to an establishment a few weeks back and at this establishment it was majority black women that worked there and when they saw me they were like oh girl you wearing an afro and yes i was wearing an afro i was rocking my afro and i said oh girl you you rocking the afro and i was like yeah and they were like oh you know well i know you know your platform of you know mostly black men i know they probably don't like your hair like that I said, actually, I get the most compliments from black men when I do wear my afro. And mind y'all, a lot of these black women that I'm running into, they are, you know, wearing the the straight hair, um, the lace front wigs or the sew-ins, quick weaves. Like, they're wearing those type of styles. And so, when I said that, it was like she was taken aback like really the black men they they the men like your hair and afro i said yeah i get the most compliments when i wear my hair in natural styles and she was like oh girl you know i i could never you know i wouldn't i wouldn't ever wear my hair like that it's just too much it's just too much then today right i go and i get my nails done and yes it's asians that work there you know but again it's going to be sisters in there getting their nails done and things of that sort so when i walk in all heads are turning right and it's not to be conceited like i'm just the baddest chick i'm I'm not trying to say that but you know you do notice when people are noticing you and so a lot of people were just like staring like oh my god and i sign in because i had an appointment so after i sign in i get ready to head to a seat so i can sit down and wait for my nail tech to come and get me but before i go to sit down this black woman stops me and she says your makeup is so pretty i love your makeup it's so pretty and i say oh thank you thank you so much now i do notice her looking at my hair but she never says anything about my hair it's just strictly about my makeup and again no big deal i appreciate the compliment right but i'm paying attention because i'm noticing this after a few minutes they tell me to go and meet my nail tech at her station and she would be out shortly she was in the back getting some things situated and she would come out so i go to my nail tech station because i did have an appointment and i go and sit down and then shortly thereafter she comes out to meet me Before she even says, hey, how you doing? Whatever. She immediately goes into ranting and raving about how beautiful my hair was. Oh, your hair is so beautiful. Now, mind you, she is an Asian woman. Oh, your hair is so beautiful. Oh, my God. I love your afro. Oh, oh, my goodness. You have all this all this beautiful hair, you know. And, you know, again, I say thank you and everything of that sort. And she proceeds to do my nails and everything. But the whole time, she just really going in about how beautiful my afro is, how beautiful my hair is. Then, after my nails are done, I go to the grocery store because I have to cook tonight. And I needed a few items so that I can, you know, have dinner prepared. As soon as I walk into the grocery store, you all, what do I hear? Oh, my goodness. I see you, sister, with that beautiful afro. I see you with that afro. 
And I turn and I look, and lo and behold, who do I see? A black man. This brother is just shouting in front of the whole store about how beautiful my afro is, how beautiful I look, how stunning I am. And he even went as far as saying, oh, yeah, do y'all see her? You know, she's better than the preacher's kid. Now, that took me out. OK, that took me out. That was funny. Um, but I'm going to be honest and say that I do live around majority caucasian people and so at this grocery store where it's a lot of caucasian people you know all all of them start stopping and staring and like oh yes you look beautiful oh i love that afro oh your afro and, and and the brother's just like really hyping me up like yes you look good and you got pretty teeth now my teeth better be pretty as much as i pay for them but that's beside the point okay the point is a lot of sisters really don't value ourselves. We don't appreciate ourselves in our natural states. And even when we do have hair extensions and stuff of that sort, why is it that we don't even go out of our ways to maybe get hair textures that resemble our own? You know what I mean? Like, let's make that something that is at least uh, implemented into us wearing hair extensions and wigs and weaves like yeah make that a part of you know your aesthetic make that a part of your beauty and what you embrace you know let, let that be a part of your enhancement if you will but the mere fact alone that we don't do that and we immediately go into getting long blonde wigs that's straight and we you know we want to go and get wavy hair and you know anything but kinky hair that already is illustrating how much we do not love ourselves how much we do actually hate how we're naturally born y'all have had y'all have no idea how many women i've heard throughout my lifetime black women i've heard throughout my lifetime say natural hair isn't for everybody i don't look good in natural hair and that always just blows my mind because how can something that you're naturally born with not be for you? Let that really soak in, sink in, marinate. How can something not be for you that you were literally born with? And I no longer want to hear anything about, oh, well, it's because the men, the men, the men. No, it's you. Yeah, I said it. It's you. It is us as black women that hate ourselves. And blaming men is merely a cop out. It gives you an excuse to continue to hate yourself by hiding behind the shield of, well, the reason why I do this is because the men made me. And the irony to that is we are the same women that swear up and down that we don't care about what the men think. Yet the reason why you don't wear your natural hair is because of what the men think. Please stop. Learn to love yourself. Learn to embrace yourself. Everybody else is doing that but us. And I'm sick of it. Today exposed a lot. But unfortunately, this has been an ongoing thing. But today was just over. It was overdose for me. <laughs> it was OD for me. I got compliments from black men, Asian women, white women. And my sisters said nothing. And it's not that I'm walking around trying to fish for compliments or anything of that sort. It's just something that you cannot help but to notice. Especially when you hardly ever see black women with afros. Without the, the, the long straight bust downs. Come on now. It's time to call this stuff out. Let's be honest. Let's be real so we can change it. And if y'all are out here 
hiding behind other people's hair textures colors and things of that sort and i'm not even really too big on the hair color thing you know um because to me i've seen some of the most beautiful afros that were you know red and ginger and blonde you know so that's not even a big thing for me but the texture piece i feel like is really really major and so if we're out here hiding behind everybody else's natural hair states and textures but our own what are we ultimately teaching our daughters about themselves and about their beauty what are we teaching the younger women the younger black girls coming up behind us what are we showing to them so no i don't want to hear anything more about oh well it's the black men black men love my afro as a matter of fact, people in general love my afro, love my natural hair texture. Everybody but my sisters. So before y'all start going around projecting your own self-hate onto other people, take a look at yourself. Ask yourself. Hmm, is it really other people that hate my natural hair? Or is it me? 